Hello everyone, in this video we will explain homogeneous transformations. That is, we will explain how to perform rotation and translation from one coordinate system to another by performing a single vector matrix multiplication. And as always, I created a post that nicely summarizes everything that I will explain in this video. A link to this post is given in the description below. Okay, so let's start. Let us assume that we have a coordinate system, A, that's being fixed. So this is XA and this is YA. This coordinate system is fixed. Then, let us assume that we have a coordinate system, B, that looks like this. So this is B, this is XB, this is YB. We assume that this coordinate system is rotated for the angle theta with respect to the horizontal direction that's parallel to the axis XA. Now, in this coordinate system, let us define a vector P. And we will write this vector as P in subscript B. This notation is, inter is introduced in our previous video that explains rotational matrices. This means that the coordinates of this vector P are expressed in the coordinate system B. That is, we can write PB if you live in two dimensions as P bx and p b y meaning that this is the x projection x b projection of the vector p b and this is the y b projection of this vector now let us assume that the vector that's being sketched like this defines the location of B coordinate system B with respect to coordinate system A so our goal is to find the representation of the vector PB in the coordinate system A that is, our goal is to find the coordinates of this vector. So, given angle of rotation theta, distance vector dA, this is basically translation, this is rotation, that is given rotation and given translation dA, and given the coordinates of the vector P expressed in the coordinate system B, PBX, PBY, our goal is to compute or to find the coordinates of the vector P represented in the coordinate system A that are given like this. Sorry, this is basically X and this is PAY. So, we will see that it's possible to define one matrix that will take PB and here one, a newly constructed vector. Its first two rows are PB and the second, or actually the last row is one. And this matrix will transform this vector into P, A, and 1. So this matrix is called homogeneous transform. Okay, so let us go back to original post. Here is the picture that I tried to sketch. Now it's nicely drawn. And please note that I have just permuted the coordinates, or actually 
the notation for the coordinates of P represented in B, I just wrote in my previous sketch, basically I denoted this as PBX, however in the post I denote this as PXB. However, this is just notational difference. So follow the notation written in this post. Now, this whole transformation by using a simple vector calculus and simple geometry can be represented as follow as follows. So the representation of the vector P in the coordinate system A is this vector, which is equal D A, that is the representation of the vector D in the coordinate system A, plus what? Plus this term, and this term is the representation of the vector P B in the coordinate system that is sketched here by a dashed line. That is, we basically multiply P representative B by the rotational matrix that transforms B to A. That is, this is not exactly A. However, this is basically a coordinate system whose axes are parallel to the coordinate system A. So this is how we compute this transformation. That takes into account translation plus the rotation. So if we expand this expression and if we use the definition of the rotational matrix, if you are not sure how this thing is der derived, please watch our previous video on rotational matrices. Its link is given in the description below. And here you can simply click over here and the explanation will pop up. So here is the explanation and here is our rotational matrix. Here I explain how it's being derived. Now if you plug in these coordinate values and the representations of the rotational matrix, you will obtain this expression. And this expression can actually be obtained without even using rotational matrices by using simple trigonometry. Now, this system of equation can be written in the matrix form by just grouping together P and A and P and B and here we obtain something like this. If you expand this matrix 6, you will obtain matrix 7. And this matrix 7, the, actually the matrix in the equation 7, represents the homogeneous transform. So how the homogeneous transform is being defined? You take the rotational matrix and plug it in into in this block. Then you take the translation vector, that is its coordinates, but here you have to be careful the coordinates of the translation vector represented in the coordinate system A, and you place them over here. And here you have 0, 0 always, and here you have 1. And here this vector is augmented with 1s, and this vector is augmented with 1. So this matrix is called homogeneous transform. It has many application in robotics, in computer graphics, and in other fields. I hope that you like this video. If you like the videos I make, please subscribe or su support my channel. Thank you very much and have a nice day.